Hey, how's it going? Steven here from understandingaudio.com. In my last video, I went through how to put your mixing reference set together so you can stay on track throughout every stage of your project. If you haven't checked that out yet, there's a link in the description below. Now today, I want to show you how to loudness match the tracks in your reference set to each other. The reason why we do this is because even half a decibel of a difference in perceived loudness can influence our decisions as to what sounds good. More often than not, our brains perceive louder is better, and that's really what caused the loudness wars. In this video, we're going to look at one method of loudness matching. It's not quite as accurate as the way I'll be doing it in part two, but you can still get pretty close. So picking up where we left off, I've my one stereo track with 20 excerpts from my music library crossfaded into each other, playing as one long reference set. I've even gone ahead and color coded each of the excerpts for you, but that's a fairly unnecessary step and just something I've done for my own self-indulgence. Before we start loudness matching the clips, I'll come up here to the view menu at the top and make sure we can see the clip gain line. That lets me make finer adjustments as I go through the set. What I'll do now is play the first two clips and loudness match them together as I go. As I move into the second clip, I'll use clip gain to adjust the level. The idea is that the two tracks flow into each other with no difference in perceived loudness. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me now. Obviously, I'm just using my ears to do this and I'm not using a loudness meter, which reduces the accuracy quite a bit. Again, we'll get into that a little more in part two of this video. Now I'll move on to loudness matching track two and track three together. Alright, I'm happy with that. Rather than making you stay and listen to me do this for my entire reference set, I'll just fast forward to what my loudness match reference set looks and sounds like. So here's my loudness match reference set. You can see that the clip gain is adjusted in all of the regions by the first excerpt, and that makes sense because we began by matching to that. When you want to actually use these various references against your own mix, you just need to adjust the fader on the track itself to loudness match against your mix. If I pull in my mix and flip back and forward between my reference set and my mix, I'll be able to hear the differences in loudness and adjust my reference set fader to match my mix.
and that's done. I'm sure you can see it makes sense to adjust the fader on the reference set instead of the mix track or the stereo bus of a mix because it'd throw all the levels off. So that's my reference set loudness match by ear. That means we're at a good starting point to reference various elements of the set like a snare sound you'd like or the low end of your mix to sound like one of your references. Loudness matching makes the comparison a lot easier and more accurate. In part two, we'll be able to measure just how inaccurate I was when I show you how to do all of this with a loudness meter. Now let me make an important point again. Mixing is not as complicated as it's made out to be. It's not a dark art. It doesn't have to be super technical and it's not rocket surgery. I love getting questions and comments all the time from people like you and trying to make things easier for you. I got a great question on my last video as to why we'd want to use reference tracks or put a set like this together in the first place. Luckily, I've answered that question and many more for you already in a free guide that I want to share with you today. It can all be simplified by using one hack that guarantees a unique, professional sounding mix every time. I want you to be able to mix faster, mix anywhere, and make sure your tracks sound amazing wherever they're played. And that's why I've put this guide together for you. So to grab your free guide, just go to getpromixes.com. There's a link in the description for you too. Download it for free from the website and just follow along with the action steps. I guarantee you that it answers that specific question that I got and many more that you'll have too. It's a gift from me to you for free at getpromixes.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for understanding. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this helpful and drop me a comment on my website if you've any more questions.